3. Let's look at Teak 23B, which says, explain that the more fractional parts used to make a whole, the smaller the part. And the fewer the fractional parts, the larger the part. Let's look at a scenario for this standard. Abby has two Tootsie Rolls. She cuts one of the Tootsie Rolls into two equal parts and the other Tootsie Roll into four equal parts. Which of the Tootsie Rolls has more equal parts and which Tootsie Roll has larger equal parts? Explain why. I'm going to use a brown Cuisinaire rod to represent Tootsie Roll number one and Tootsie Roll number two. Tootsie roll number one is going to be cut into two equal parts. To model that, I'm going to use two purple Cuisinaire rods. Tootsie roll number two is going to be cut into four equal parts. And for that, I'm going to use the red Cuisinaire rods. Which of the Tootsie Rolls has more equal parts and which Tootsie Roll has larger equal parts? Explain why. Let's compare the two parts. Let's look at one purple and one red. When we compare the two parts, we can see that purple has the larger equal part. When we count the parts, we see that Tootsie Roll has two parts, one, two, and Tootsie Roll two has four parts, one, two, three, four. So, Tootsie Roll number two has more equal parts because the parts are smaller and Tootsie Roll number one has larger equal parts because there are less equal parts.